Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox community. If you're joining us here live for the first time, welcome. It's good to have you. We're over on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash X1 Bros. If you're listening to us, welcome from the world of podcasts. We're happy to be in your ear holes, having fun, talking Xbox games. House item real quick, if you haven't yet, go leave us a review, rate, review, and subscribe to us over on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you listen to the podcasts. Come subscribe to us on YouTube. Leave us a five-star rating over on Apple Music. It really helps the show, bumps us up, and gets us out there to new people. So, Starfield, everybody. Starfield news. Woo! Starfield Yay! news. Todd Howard had a video. It was just a little small video. It was like Constellation a Constellation questions. Constellation questions from the community. A couple things really stood out on this. One of the big ones that made headlines we'll talk about first is the amount of dialogue. 250,000 Plus 250,000 lines of dialogue. Now, to put that in perspective, Skyrim had 60,000 and Fallout 4 had 111,000. So it's almost double of those two games combined. Yeah. I, was actually, I, was actually, I was actually. I was actually asking you guys before the show. I'm curious if they recycled any of those lines from both those games. Because, yeah. like, you know, like, <laughs> generic might, ones, like, like oh, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, they yeah. have been known to, uh, you know. Well, I mean, if, if you, I mean, if it's a line that you can use, I mean, There's a not? whole Roman faction in, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, Fallout yeah. Las Vegas because they wanted to reuse some, you know, some do, player models. Do you know what excites me about this game? Like, the setting and everything, but I'm a really... Thousand Planets. Yeah, yeah. Uh, With 250,000 voice lines. <laughs> not procedurally generated uh yes that, that so they are and they aren't they're not yeah but they are and they aren't no in my book that means they're not. <laughs> okay they, they yeah. are they are and, and they're, they're also not. kind of not at the same time <laughs> they were procedurally generated and then and, they, and then they just hammered then, some things around and then they went out and handcrafted i them, like right? the word yeah. handcrafted <laughs> yeah the so they I'm are and they aren't use. so no but I, you know what kind of vibes i'm getting from this game you know you know that tv show the expanse yeah, that's I'm the not, kind of vibes I'm. I've getting. not watched it. Yeah, yet. it's actually uh, pretty decent. I've only I'm not finished with it yet, so, mm. so it's not bad it. for a sci-fi show. You're better going to that than uh, from what I hear. It's and, actually one uh, Halo. It's actually one reason. It's a better uh, one. It's a better sci-fi than Halo. Uh, it's why I swing back and forth between the Amazon video because there's a lot of Amazon videos where I'm like, oh, that one sucked, you know. But I appreciate Amazon because sci-fi was like, oh wow, we have this really successful show. Let's cancel it. So they canceled it. <laughs> And then I, I don't Bezos, know if it was I don't know yeah, if it was Bezos Jeff like, Bezos. No. He was like, No, I want that. I, I want, want what that. happens I want next. To, I yeah. want to find out what happens. So he bought it. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Oh man, we have this really successful show. Why don't we cancel it? <laughs> okay, that's how a lot. Of, that's how uh, a lot of shows go. Like, and, and is it successful? Is yeah. it successful though? Well, what else did sci-fi? Well, have? because it's probably expensive. They just, what, what they just renamed to Siffy. But what they're and then they and then they canceled and then they canceled the Expanse. Siffy. They rebranded a good a name CV. for a dog. Yeah. yeah, remember it used to be it used to be sci-fi like yeah, with the Y's? and then now it's now it's S Y F Y. The Y's weren't inclusive enough. They no, 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 no. Eyes. They changed it to it was eyes, and then they changed it to Y's. So now it's Siffy. Oh. Oh, I mean, that's sci-fi, right. that's right. that's but it's right. I mean, the eyes. Gram, you know, it's, it's it's like you look at it and you think Siffy, Siffy, Siffy. Then they'll add like they want to have all of us, so it'll be syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> No. Siffled. <laughs> Have you ever been siffled? <laughs> Three times. Three times. I heard in uh, <laughs> here in Starfield, you can get siffled pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> if they're not careful. No, but and, and it may not be that way. It may not be like you know, it's, the Expanse is kind of a dark show. I guess not dark, but it's grim. It's yeah, grim, it's you know, it's, yeah, it's it's like the realities of what would happen if the human race actually expanded, and then you had different. Action. cultures and on mars and then the outer rim, rim of the yeah. solar system oh, look at this though like flying through space this game oh yeah dude. we're, t- we're yeah. talking about video, yeah. video games well, this I know. Game. starfield yeah, I we have it up on the i, I don't know for game. sure if this takes place in our galaxy or whatever galaxy but i don't know i just like seeing some of the, like seeing the art style seeing some of the conversations with you it just kind of gives me that vibe a little bit think todd how it works out it looks oh, like yeah it does. for sure. sure it does yeah you think he's a cyclist successful people cyclist? work out david yeah. he looks like he might be a cyclist though which disappoints me. <laughs> Which dis- well, let's be real. Okay, I don't want to offend cyclists, and maybe I shouldn't go down this thread. But I have a hard time when where we live. Where, so let's okay. clarify. Well, there is a there's a road right behind both Spicy and my house, right down the road from Jordan's house, and it leads it's on the circuit. It leads to a very popular place. It's basically empty back here, and there's some nature stuff back here. 
And we have a lot of nature here. And as a result, on the weekends, we get packs of cyclists. And these aren't just your casual, like, shorts and, you know, no. T-shirts riding bicyclists. They get, there's gear, and they get their bikes. And th- it's like I'm watching the Olympics while I'm stuck behind them in my car driving to the grocery store. And they don't. They're, they don't. First of all, okay. I'm, we're, we're like we're like you know when they do the the racing in yeah. like France and stuff you know the motorcycle guy with the camera yeah. in the back yeah. that's how I am going 20 <laughs> yeah. 15 miles per hour down the road for well, like yeah, for get out of the, the way the I, frustrating part is I think uh, I think the law says two abreast two abreast and they're yeah. like 50 abreast I went down a I'm rabbit so glad hole you said that well, that's went, what that's the term not two abreast you know that's, I went down a rabbit hole on TikTok and one of the ones that I liked I'll show you after this that was one of my favorite videos I've ever seen of all time is this police officer pulls over a pack oh, yeah, of cyclists. I've seen yeah. this video. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, thank you. <laughs> a, a, he scored a win but for see, all of us drivers everywhere. I'm sure there are great people. No, there are. People if you're are a considerate cyclist, I love you. I, uh, but I, you tend to be out of control when you're in packs. <laughs> I tend to mountain bike myself. Well, see, here's the deal. Jordan's a mountain biker. I do mountain bike. I'm uh, what's this great? There's a lot of great mountain biking in our area. We too. live next to a giant mountain. <laughs> yes, we do. So we got a lot of. I'm in. So I'm in Salt Lake City. Okay, this this happened this week. I'm in Salt Lake City, and in Salt Lake City, in like the downtown area, they actually put lanes for bicyclists. Sure. Uh, you know, to help people travel. You know, I, I think a lot of like downtown places do that nowadays, but. They still don't drive in their lane. They still hug my lane as a as a car. And, and I, you want to know what that lane does? You're not allowed to park in that lane. And you're correct. Super so, annoying. So I don't understand the feds or whoever's in charge of you know. Call it the street people. The street the street makers. <laughs> they're like, okay, here's the problem. Cyclists keep going into the lane of the cars. Let's give them their own huge lane. And it's huge. And, and they still don't use it. And it's everybody. And I don't understand. Please let me pass. Please just. Uh, but anyways, I didn't want to go down this right. But you're right. He, Todd Howard does kind of look like a cyclist. But I bet he's a considerate cyclist. He seems like he'd be yeah, a considerate cyclist. He, yeah, or he, is cycling one of those things that you're a nice dude, but when you get on that bike, you got to be ruthless. You become a different person. <laughs> yeah. That's your hog. Yeah, well, I mean, they do hog. suit up. Like that's they, your hog. They have Put like on the that spandex. <laughs> they have the super like swishback helmets from like I don't know from Blade Runner. I don't know. And they they have their stretchy clothes and and their. When you put on those stretchy pants, there's a montage of getting like when you get ready to be a bicyclist. I, I assume that yeah. you're playing. And you get those the weird. Bat sh- you get those weird shoes. Yeah, yeah they clip well, in. Yeah, they're not. I don't. I don't want to use the term weird. I just it's hard. When I put on my spandex. Every sh- time I have interactions with these bicyclists, it's I am stuck behind them Well, they them get mad the at you if you, like, go past them. Like, yes, I'm, you might not think this. I'm faster than you. <laughs> well, that's the thing. In their head, they're probably like, yeah, I'm a badass. I'm going so fast. On my speedometer, they're going 18 miles per hour. Yeah. I mean, on in a fairness. 35. <laughs> in fairness, if you're willing to wear... It makes sense, actually, now that we think about it. If you're willing to wear shorts that show off your bulge <laughs> in public like that, you've probably got a lot of confidence, man. Like you probably, <laughs> you know what? You can probably have, I've changed my mind. The road is yours. I will say I that. I respect anyone that's willing to let their dong hang out via spandex <laughs> in public. They, they do have a lot of confidence. I'll give them yeah. that, too. Okay. Anyways, what we were talking about was <laughs> we're talking about the Starfield video, and Todd Howard keeps coming on the screen because it's an interview with Todd Howard. Yeah, but look at this part. So the part that we're in, like, they're flying through space in a ship. We don't know what this, space, this ship is or anything necessarily, but, oh, I can't. This looks like a serious, hardcore RPG game. He was actually asked, is this hardcore sci-fi? Um, yeah, and he kind of basically said yes and no. <laughs> He, did, yeah. he, he kind of he kind of said it's up yeah. to you. Yeah, that's what he says. Well, is this a hardcore sci-fi? Well, I mean, depends on how space. you look at it. You know, you die in space <laughs> if it was hardcore. But it's in space, it can't it can be hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> depends that how really, you play it. Whole, and the, he, it was like a two minute answer. You want to know why I think he answered that way? Because in my mind, I'm thinking, how are the hardcore sci-fi guys going to rip this apart? And he's probably thinking the same thing. Like, well, I can't say it's hardcore, but I also can't say it's not hardcore. <laughs> So yeah, well, like, he, did say, he did say something like, he was like, if it was really hardcore, you'd just probably die in space. <laughs> no, but he was talking about hardcore in the respect of, like, they used an example as fuel. So originally how they had it was... You would run out of fuel in your game You'd run out of fuel, and you're just like, oh, shoot. 
<laughs> we're dead. Uh, yeah, what do we do? And he said, you know, that he says as a player, you know, that would that would suck. You'd get frustrated, you know. So they changed it. It, it sounds like your fuel is basically how far you can go or it, it's something you, you'll never run out of fuel but fuel it does serve a purpose so it will you. limit you if you don't have enough fuel it basically won't let you attempt that travel uh, yeah is okay, what it sounds yeah. like so or, but or you uh, have to make a stopover somewhere or something wonder how much gas costs in that universe uh, it's probably cheaper you think so yeah once you go to space everything gets cheaper i guess you're colonizing <laughs> planets yeah you're probably right <laughs> it's true yeah <laughs> i mean for, for a our, lot of land just opened up to you yeah, you got the whole universe man. <laughs> yeah no <laughs> Minerals. There's all kind of rare minerals. Yeah, I know from uh, Elite Dangerous that I can get gold and stuff, and yeah, by and shooting, No Man's Sky by shooting a- a- asteroids, just asteroids. blowing them up. Just oh, you just got uh, platinum. You just got platinum from that. I'm like oh, thank you, hmm. thank you. I need to do that. Hey, let's speak about the uh, the dialogue. I think Jordan mentioned that. I'm going to bring that up on the screen. I thought this was really funny. Um, yeah, almost almost double, and it's Pause it's it. persuade. He they, he really focused on these lines that there's persuasion. Like, well, he talked about the uh, persuasion. Um, oh, as far as features, like the dialogue yeah, yeah. discussions, and did he he also mentioned that there was points involved with the dialogue? Like that's the, how you spend it. Yeah, you've got to you spend, spend your points, points to persuade, right? Yeah. Um, but as far as like the actual number of dialogue lines, well, we have this up on the screen for everyone live. Um, but it says Skyrim had sixty thousand. Fallout had 111,000 and Starfield or Fallout 4 and Starfield had has 252 953 plus. So why why put a plus when you're that's, that detailed what's the plus? What's DLC. The, well, it's funny. 953.2? Is there because, like half a sentence? Is no, there no, half you, a line? They haven't counted their DLC. Do you think that Skyrim yeah, like when you're that had ex- exactly 60,000 and Fallout 4 had exactly 111,000? Yeah. Like, why put the plus when you're 252,953 two, uh, plus? I mean, the same reason why you would say that. Yeah, why not just put a hardcore yeah, sci fi? Why just put more than 250,000? Or why not just put the actual number? Or why not? Or you could say two, uh, or you could even say more than 252,000. <laughs> but look how close you are to 253,000. You're, but, you're 47 you could away. even go 47 minus you away. could even go more than 252,900 it's all marketing <laughs> but that plus that's so odd that's so odd because it makes you think whoa how much more is yeah there? it like, must there's they're squeaking it out i think it's for the dlc there's yeah. one more there could be one more or there could well, be a hundred well, more. that plus means it's actually 954 so 252 <laughs> yeah, yeah. at least but they, but they wanted to put that plus, plus the plus looks, looks better it's a than thing. the four <laughs> They put it through legal, and legal said it was okay to do that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's a lot. But the persuasion seems pretty cool. But one thing that he did talk about that I feel like went under the radar, and that this, like, is this big news? Okay, we we know this game is going to be huge. So the fact that there's that much dialogue, whoop whoop de doo, yeah, IMO. Whoop de doo. Yeah, whoop de doo. What IMO. other? That's all. I think what was a bigger what was okay, a bigger okay. thing where here? where I would really be impressed. I mean, yes, yes, there's a lot of dialogue. It's cool. I think it'll open up dialogue choices and conversation. I think it'll be really fun. Where I would really be impressed if they actually got 253, 900 something plus voice actors for each of those <laughs> well, lines. I mean, Skyrim. You know what I mean? Those six people. Yeah. yeah. You <laughs> met them everywhere. Yeah. You're like, yeah, hey. I feel like I know this guy. <laughs> yeah. like every uh, person's. The- that's where I'd really be impressed if they went to that hardcore dedication. Well, you don't need that many because. Each person has multiple lines, right? Many lines. All right, a hundred thousand. Hold on, at sixty thousand, Skyrim felt like it was all the same person. Yeah, it really <laughs> was, true, it was, like, it was. like six this people. Is a lot more, uh, <laughs> don't you think? I bet that, you need a uh, hundred people. Ah, uh, probably, and then just have them each do like three voices. One, three. Okay, I can do the math on that. I don't think, I don't think that's enough. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jordan. <laughs> You've been using Overwatch math too much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but to me, like that that's that's cool and all, but I really liked hearing about the feature of when you start out, this is an RPG game, Bethesda classic, and when you start out, you actually have what was not a benefit, what's it when it hurts you? You have a trait. So you have when you pick a trait, it gives you a positive and a negative. A negative. But you can you can do things and mm-hmm. earn the removal of the name. Yeah, he sounded which I like think is really lines. cool. Yeah, he sounded. It sounded like he said uh, or alluded that there was quest lines to help you like get rid of that negative on that trait. So let's. I'm just thinking in my head. Let's take an example like sharpshooter. You're really good with scopes, but you suck with a bat. 
Y- yeah. You know, like that's a good trade off. You're good with guns, but you or you're good at aiming or snipers, but you suck with you know a melee weapon. Or you get a speech impediment. Or yeah, something. yeah. Like so something that like so. Lowers your I'm assuming maybe you do a quest line that it's strictly melee focused in that example, which I'm just using as a as a hypothetical example, and then maybe that's how you get rid of it, which I think is actually a super cool way. Of adding that into your adding game. Adding engagement it, to the gameplay. It makes you feel like your character is really growing. And progressing. Yeah. I wonder, they have the negative. It Can you affect the positive? Like, can you, if you make a wrong choice somewhere, does the positive get a removal? So I don't know if he, that he, would be cool. he didn't say that. He said there, he, he, he no, did say quest line, the right? Yeah, they he focus did say on the negative line. for sure. David, you sound like a glass half empty kind of guy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm just throwing out possibilities. <laughs> Honestly, but how can we screw my character honestly, over? Honestly, the fact that I just learned that Todd Howard's a cyclist has thrown me. You did not <laughs> learn that. You, we we, we don't are now. assuming. It's a fact now. <laughs> Maybe he's a mountain biker. Like, look at that. Look at that body. That's a cyclist he body. He could be a mountain biker. He's yeah, got a mountain I, biker I, I body, mountain too. Bike. Well, I've recently he's gotten not rugged, He's not rugged enough for mountain Maybe biking. I'll invite him on Twitter. Hey, hey Todd no. Howard, you want to hey, go Todd mountain biking? Are have you a, in town? I live, I, I'll, tell, I'll tell him I live next to a really big mountain. You should come bike with me. <laughs> what if he responds? That'd be like the greatest name. He's like, life. "Hey, yeah, let's do it. Let's talk about. Uh, let's do. It. Let's do an interview. Let's do the show, and yeah. then let's go mountain biking." I would. I'd probably faint. Fist bump. We'll fist bump him. He's like. He's like on my top five to meet. And it's then we'll have to explain how David hates cyclists. He's like, hey man, do you cycle? The first time I saw your body. <laughs> 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 okay, we're gonna stop uh, this going. Stop. The first time I saw your body, the first thing I thought of was this man cycles. <laughs> okay. Now do you do stationary cycle? You go to cycling ca- classes, some Peloton. What what exactly is your regimen here? Uh well, yeah, that's definitely where the interview should go. <laughs> okay, we're n- we maybe, now know that David's not gonna lead the interview <laughs> if Todd Howard comes on the show. Maybe maybe in his, via, via his Peloton classes, he's like coming up with ideas for Starfield. Yeah. That's a great place to do it in a dark room with a bunch of other people being yelled at, <laughs> cycling by, yeah. si- by, the, by the instructor, cycling yeah, it up, sweating a, it out. There's have a you lot ever done of a cy- have you ever done a cycling class before? No, they terrify me. I've done one and I was crushed. Like I, I can run miles, I can lift weights and burn my muscles. Yeah, cycling is a cycling, very good workout. Stationary cycling, I was like, I was dead. I mean, I, it's burning your your legs in a way that they were screaming. I mean, it's with any cycling, really. Not yeah, just they were screaming. <gasps> Speaking of screaming. Yeah, don't you, take that away from Jordan. <laughs> you want to know what I purchased this week, guys? Speaking of screaming? Did you say screaming? Yeah. Speaking of screaming, do you know what I purchased this week? Wow. No. This, this from here, this this moment right now, this show can go this several divide. different directions. Do we go phase zero? <laughs> yeah. Where is David going to take this conversation right now? No. So here, in my mind, speaking this is how it screaming. works. Like Speaking of screaming, because we're talking about cycling and your muscles hurt, I bought a foot massager machine. And last like night, one of the ones you I still fill don't up. know where this conversation yeah, is. Is it like one of the ones that you fill stick, up with water? No, you and stick then your you hit feet the button in and they do bubbles and it squeezes your foot. And then there's like thing on your oh. arch. And let me tell you, I'm a new man. Wait, I'm you have man. this at your house? Yeah. As of last night, it arrived. Can I come swing by? You and may take come. It for a you test may drive? come swing by and take it for a test drive. Let me tell you, I sat, watched uh, TV and I, my wife went to bed and I just sat there for a nice sit for like 45 minutes, just massage my feet. Yeah, so I, why did you say speaking of screaming? Because I, as a result, I my 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 feet muscles are not screaming. Oh, I mean, that's <laughs> just how my oh, mind okay. works, right? Okay, I get uh, yeah. to be in your head. <laughs> <laughs> so it was that, no, that'd just, be an just gotta keep up, baby. <laughs> We're switching, switching. Come anyway, Starfield, super exciting. Ah, I I'm I'm now I'm mad that this game got delayed. When is this game coming out again? Next year. It was supposed to be November. Hey, speaking of... Uh, Her name uh, is Jess Finster. Yeah, the uh, community director yeah, for like Bethesda. Yeah. yeah, It's a good name. Strong name. It's mm-hmm. not a solid sweater game. It's like uh, I just recently, speaking of strong names, I... Uh, <laughs> no, really, look at that sweater. Yes. That is a solid sweater. Look at that. So okay, nice ride. Jordan, go. I'm <laughs> yeah. going to mute you soon, David. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, solid names. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, John. Yes, solid names. I watched that uh, Eli Manning undercover video. Oh, and what's his, his name? Chad. Chad uh, Powers. Chad Powers. That's a solid think name. Think fast, run fast. Is, think fast, run fast. Yeah. Where he pretends to be like a quarterback. Yeah. Like go, a new yeah, yeah, and he's walking yeah. on yeah. to Penn State. And only the head coach knows. And they're like, whoa. 
<laughs> they're like, look at that guy. Think fast, run fast. Think that. Look at it's that like if Tom Brady, if Tom Brady can play at forty two, Chet Powers can play at twenty six. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the makeup job on him though looked like they made him look older, not yeah. younger. It was like, oh man, that guy, that guy has had an active life. Can you imagine if you're that. that coach though? So the quarterbacks coach that was doing, he's like. I want to sign this guy. <laughs> yeah, he was like, because it was you like got we from, from like even division one. So that's Penn State. So division one top tier school. There's 30,000 football athletes in college. Uh, only under a thousand or actually I think it's 1100 get drafted in the NFL every year. Like very low percentage. So to get an NFL quarterback. Like, I bet you those dudes are... He was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he ran over. He was like, I see something uh, in this guy. We're gonna yeah, this we can give me... Yeah, we're he was like, really? Yeah, really? Okay. Yeah, Chad really. Powers. That is a solid name. Yeah. Hey, but we are getting into the season. Yeah, where we're just getting games and games. Oh, so good. Scorn? Starting out Scorn, and then we got... Uh, oh, yeah, let's talk about Scorn. That game scares yeah. me. Oh, sorry, Jordan. Go for it. Uh, I'm just going to go through all the games that are coming Let's out. do go Scorn first. Yeah. yeah. Scorn? It's on Game Pass right now. It's, yeah, it's there. Available. We can download now. Jordan, Jordan seems to be. Yeah, I want to give it like, a try. It looks. It definitely looks different. Yeah, it, I like I like games that are different. It looks. Oh, music. Yeah, music. Oh wow! I think I talked loud enough. To, <laughs> yeah, we that one. That we out. don't want to have that I think one. We canceled hit. that one out. I think we did it. Oh uh, yeah, audio jungle. <laughs> audio <laughs> jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, put all that on. Oh man, we almost had tears for fears going crazy. All right. Woo-hoo. Oh, let's pull up Scorn, though. I was trying to, and it pulled up a song, so sorry. Scorn does look scary and different, but that's also why I kind of like it. Yeah, I wonder... Anyone know... Anyone in chat play this game? Did we... Yeah, I've not seen any reviews. I uh, just want to go home over the weekend and uh, give it a try. Yeah, so this first came out at that first... At the Xbox release, what, in 2019? I think we saw a teaser of it. The, yeah. like, E3 I video. Think we've known about this for a little while. Yeah, we've had it year. for a while now. It's always had a very interesting vibe. It's always oddly curious it looks creepy and yeah, definitely the, uh yeah i just i don't know it's so believe, out there that it makes you want to play it like I it believe, makes you want to it makes you curious you know creepy does not do it justice this no. is like next level gross dark uh, it makes me un- very uncomfortable i'll be yeah, honest the probe gun. Is, i'm like i i'm not a scary kind of person like i don't like scary movies or, uh, this, is, uh, this is gonna mess me but that's up. the thing you want a game to make you feel something you know t-bucks described and all right feeling feeling uncomfortable that's a feeling that is a feeling <laughs> it is a feeling yeah and that's what you want is that what you're telling me sometimes you sometimes, know sometimes yeah, no, yeah sometimes you do yeah it's oh, a nice man. little gut check <laughs> yeah so yeah so this is on game pass right so, oh yeah it's on game pass yeah I don't. I don't know if this game is for a player like me. Personally. I think you should try the first hour. <sighs> it's out now. Jordan, are you going to try this this week? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to try it out. That's why what, I haven't really watched any reviews. What or anything stands for. out to you about this game? Like, what makes you want to try? It? Just that it's that so is out there. Different. Yeah, different. Different is in a world where everything like we always get a bunch of different shooters. This is like a unique take on a shooter that is interesting. Also, that creepy. You know what that is? So, can, can we go back to that as well? You wonder what that looks like? The freaking. The Halo guys, the leaders. What are the, what is their names? Oh, the prophets. The prophets. That's and maybe like, it's just a big prophet. Their, that's the prophet's daddy. <laughs> yeah, granddaddy. Yeah. The granddaddy of them. Maybe it's a prequel to Halo. We're everyone listening. We're watching the launch trailer for Scorn, and it is. Yeah, T Bucks describes it right. Nasty. Scorn. Play, puke, repeat. Uh, it's. I'm sure it's a great game too. It's just. Just try the first I might hour. Be, I might. I might be passing this one up. I just try the first hour. To see where it takes it, you. It's, I mean, I'll give them the creative, the creativity on the like the probe gun that they use. <laughs> Woo, that's uh, that's next level game design. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so cool. this this game came out. What are other games? Oh, you got a ton. You got you got Modern Warfare coming in a month. You got Warzone Two. But this is just I'm just saying this is the start of that that seasonal games we got. Yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, Gotham Knights coming soon. My oh, personal Gotham favorite, Knights. my most anticipated Give it to me. game, uh, Warhammer Dark Tide. Really excited yeah. for that one. If you guys don't know that That's one, your that most one's anticipated for the, well, like the next my most my next most anticipated. When does um, that drop? That is uh, that end mean? of end of November. It's the next game that I've like. I would skip the other games to play that game. Uh, okay. You know, like okay. even though I'm going to play the other games too. 
It's uh, you guys remember Warhammer Warhammer Vermintide? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So same studio, same company, uh, new game, but with Space Marines this time around. Yeah. Or Warhammer guns. is a super cool universe. As I'm painting their miniatures right now. Yeah, how's that going, by the way? Good. I'm building a battlefield. That's so cool. then you I guys will that. come over and play with me. I will play. You could always just play Warhammer Dark Tide. Well, yeah, <laughs> but this is a little bit different. So. I'm learning that David just doesn't want to leave and visit <laughs> yeah. us. I'm re- pretty sure you don't like in person games. My entire job, my entire life right now exists in a like a 12 by 10 room. Yeah, and I love it there. But no, I've uh, about. I think I've become like afraid of society. You know? uh, <laughs> I, think I am it, afraid of society. <laughs> when, I am. when did it happen? I think it was like two months ago. I got into miniatures. Yeah, I started with Warhammer. I built them all. Why have you not shown me any of your paint jobs? Well, because I'm still working on them. You know, mm. he's shown me some. So Can I don't. I don't. Your board. You showed me pictures of your board you were making. Oh, that's. The, I'm gonna make it look like that. That's not mine. Oh, so you. I got the sense that that was yours. So you accidentally plagiarized. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, no. But uh, yeah, but, no, is, uh, I'm excited. Is that why you, like, you, you were telling me you threw dirt on it and then glued it? And stuff oh, like yeah, that? yeah. No, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Well, I actually already have. the. It's not real dirt, but it's like a plaster that when I paint it, it'll look like dirt. Oh. Mm. So yeah, we've got uh, some gameplay here. Jack Frags has a nice little. Oh, you want me to pull it nice up? Nice little co-op thing going on here. It looks. But yeah, just it, just imagine Warhammer, but with guns, and or sorry, imagine Vermintide, but mm, Vermintide is with so guns, fun. And so I, fun. That'll just make you think like Left 4 Dead. But y- yeah, it's that style of game. But Vermintide was really fun if you haven't played really it. Really fun. Um, I actually kind of want to go play it a little bit just to kind of get in the mood. That was an example of Game Pass introducing you to a game yes. that you otherwise would never play. I would have never. I don't. I don't know if I ever would have really heard of that game either. Like, if it wasn't for Game Pass, I would not be into this this these series of games. Right. Yeah. Um, like I've always been into Warhammer. You know. Well, not always, I guess, but I've liked the IP. You know? Yeah. Uh, it is cool. I've only like, recently universe. gotten really into it with the painting of the miniatures and exploring some more of the lore and stuff. And let me tell you, that world's big. No kidding. So I've been going down rabbit holes of like Warhammer 40k, mm. and uh, there is a lot. Like there's a lot. It basically is Warhammer 40,000 because it's like year 40,000 for the human race uh-huh. and how the human race has spread and all the factions and. Uh, I mean, I probably Game of Thrones is based on that story arc because there's like so many. So is it only from the miniatures or was it based on books originally? I know nothing about Warhammer I, other than the So I, I know it goes back, I would say the 90s. I think it goes way back. It might even be before that, even 80s. But I know, I don't think there was ever a time. I think the miniatures came out and that's the universe they set the miniatures in. I don't know the exact origin, but as, as far as I can see, even when you go way back, the miniatures and Warhammer have always kind of been together from what I can see. Oh, and then okay. the IP just expanded from there. Uh, so we're watching right now um, Warhammer Dark Side gameplay. Dark Tide. I mean, sorry, Dark, Dark Side. Dark Dark Tide gameplay. Um, that's what we're watching. It looks very, very good. Very fluid. Uh, it's, it's interesting. Anyways, the universe is like it's the miniatures it's are cool. Extremely complex. It is. So is sh- Gears based off of Warhammer or inspired by? Because it seems like it is. Gears of War. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe art wise, you know. Like yeah, because you know you got the soldiers big and bulky and saws on their guns. I d- yeah, they're, those definitely aren't in the same universe, if that's what you're asking. But there's some really good real time strategy it like games inspired that, by it. Yeah, for, for sure. Some of the funnest real time strategy games is the Warhammer real time strategy game. That's fantastic. Yeah, Total War. Not Total War. Total no, War no. Three? There's another one, Warhammer, where you capture. What's nice is there's no economy and you capture points. Oh, it's that so was good. Dawn of War 2. Dawn of War 2, yes. Now, so Dawn good. of War 3 came out. I didn't really. P- I think I have it. I got it on sale because yeah. I remember when it came out, people weren't too happy with it. So, I, another thing, and I'll have to jump the in. But I have that, all the Dawn of War 2s. So those were fun. The other one that Spicy's not played that is. Why did you, what? what? Is very good that, that we should play. We should get back into real time strategy, guys. Uh-huh. I have. Ashes of the Singularity is such a good, oh, yeah. okay. and again for the same reason, it's point it's point capture. So you're there's the economy incentive switches. So like in in Starfield, in Starfield, in Starcraft, it's all about your economy, and then your military comes after your economy, right? In this, your military is there, and based on the points you capture with that military, you get economic rewards, and then you can move on to the next. So it's about the point capture is what it rewards you. It's it makes it so 
Interesting. So I did install that. I just got lost on the open. I played that for like an hour and a half <laughs> just on the opening screen, trying to read the races and all their benefits, pros, oh, cons. Oh, yeah, it's in-depth. And, yeah. and I was learning a lot, and then I ran out of time. And, and then I never went, I never went oh, back. Oh, because it was a demo? No, it's like the game, like the opening screen where you have to choose your oh, that faction oh. and the, the complexities of that faction. Yeah, you're like very detailed man in that. Yeah, I like, you should I like, see me create I go my off, characters. I go off instinct. Like, I like the way that person looks. I'm That's me. Me and there Jordan and, and our barber... The, we started playing Tiny Tina's, like... Uh, yeah, you, you liked that, didn't you? Yeah, Very, very good. Roll for initiative! Yeah, very cool how they how they turned Borderlands into, you know, like a Dungeons & Dragons style game. And uh, I spent probably 30 minutes on the character creator, and I shouldn't have. But, <laughs> but I do now terrify Jordan when he looks at my character. Yeah. Oh, really? My That's eyes funny. are all jacked. <laughs> <laughs> huge, oh. huge head. That's funny. That is funny. I spend, I am very detailed. I'm a detailed person. So when I start a game, I go into it and Ashes of a Singularity is very complex right did at the get-go. Did you get -go. ever get into, I think you did, Stellaris? Yes, that's another that's one another. that I did. I did that exact same thing. Stellaris yeah. is another one. And that, th that one was on Game Pass. Is it still on Game Pass? It is on Game Pass, yes. Yeah, I, it's still installed on my box upstairs. So I would like to get a mouse and keyboard for my Xbox now, actually. Like a couch, a couch version. Oh, well, yeah. Isn't there that? The Razor, 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 Razor one, has yeah. that couch, but Razor. Razor's Can you just plug in wireless Super ones? Fun. Yeah. Like, like this? Yeah. To yeah. yeah. Oh. Right in that USB port. But to, how does that, how does that work? Because me and Jordan were playing Overwatch two this week, and uh, we were getting worked. And I went into the replay, and uh, we were supposed to be playing strictly controller based players. But you can obviously tell when they have a mouse and keyboard. Well, I think we're playing console players. So that's what I'm saying. So I don't think it's necessarily over, controller. So Overwatch allows. Mouse and keyboard a lot of games against now, controllers. A lot of games now on the I think Xbox. a lot of games now too. I'm not necessarily a shooter because like on what? Ever since I mean I know I'm never going to be at this level, but ever since I've seen like Z laner, yeah, okay, yeah I'm like okay, it's possible. I'm not against you. It's possible. Yeah, you know it's possible. Got to hone your hone your yeah. thumb skills. It, it, yeah, that's just I got it. Now I think to myself, you know what? I need to be better. You know what? It's not. It's not you. It's me. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel when I come across those transactions. It's not you. It's me. Okay. Well, obviously, this guy shouldn't have been in our league. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no. Yeah. That was. That was for headshot, sure. Headshot. Headshot. That headshot. Was for, headshot. Guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I'm about to drop a bomb on you. <laughs> I. Okay. Here's another moment in this <laughs> podcast where this can go. Here we go. I'm nervous. Here we go. Uh, where Where is this discussion going? I downloaded Overwatch two. Okay. Yay! Yeah. I'm so happy. That's right. It's I've a been very mentally primary, preparing myself to play Mercy. Okay. Just yeah. I envision it. I envision being back there and just holding down that R button to yeah. heal everybody. Yep. That, Mercy's been practicing. Mercy's very good character. Yeah. Very fun character to play. Uh, cool. Yeah. How has it been going? I've I've seen you guys uh, appearing offline, but online with uh, Blamore. <laughs> Yeah. I've seen you uh, appear anonymous in his chat. You're not <laughs> hiding like you think you are. I think you're hiding from me. You're uh, actually not. We, we do like to hide from you, David. Yeah. Well, Although David's on. Like, let's, let's, let's I haven't seen line. Jordan and Spicy on in a few days. <laughs> Wait, but Blomor's on in chat. Who's he in chat with? Two anonymous people. Yeah, if you Those play. sons of bitches. If you, if you play, then we'll have, we'll uh, have four. Then we'll have to recruit uh, for a five, a fiver, a fiver. Yeah, we'll have to recruit. David, I know, I know. Ronan's been playing. It's very, it's very, so. it's a very good game. Uh, is is anyone is anyone owning the support role though, right now? What do you mean owning? Like, is anyone uh, on your team designated support? One time, do you well, need a support? We both because I can support. be someone else. No, we both play. So, I mean, we can play whatever. We play. Yeah, we're flex players. Yeah, yeah, we play flex. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, no, we both play support because that's usually what it cues us quickly because we're flex players. What's the most complicated, like, skill, not even skill-based, but, like, knowledge-based, game knowledge-based character to play? The most, the hardest character? Like, class. Class, I mean. Echo. Echo. No, 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 no not character, but class. Because support's, support's pretty simple in that my job is just to support you no matter what my 
what my ability is. So whether that's healing or whether that's giving you a buff, doesn't matter. That's a complicated question because tanks now have a very, very vital role since there's one of them. And so you're traditionally tanks, you'd have an off tank, which would flank and do other things very, very niche. And then you'd have your main tank, which would hold the line or create space. Sure. So those are now combined. And mm. so that's very complicated for like, normal players to understand. Like knowing when yeah. to do what. Okay. DPS okay. is very complicated in the fact that a lot of people come from Warzone. They come from Call of Duty. They come from uh, Apex. They come from any, wherever you're playing shooters, team deathmatch, free-for-alls, whatever. You, you have gun. You shoot them. That's that's mm. kind of the mindset of DPS, which it shouldn't be that way. DPS should be, yes, you're trying to get picks, but you're also trying to be the line that protects your supports and enables the tank to do what it needs to do, right? So DPS has a much more complicated role than a lot of people give credit for. A lot of teams are made or bro made or broken, I guess is the way to say it, on how the DPS plays. Okay. Um, if the most important thing in this game is staying alive, it's sure. that yeah, is the most yeah. important thing to do. And if your DPS is, All if right. you're running on the back line and dying or again, she's in the back line. Okay. That said, the support characters are like your defensive line or your, um, your goalie in soccer. Yeah. When I played before I was either Lucio or mercy. Those were Lucio the two supports was that I really was strong. So and I enjoyed being Lucio. Lucio was a lot of fun. A, nice little switch up. The goalie in soccer is much more vital than just protecting the goal. That position can see the entire field of play mm -hmm. and it, it's the goalie's job. And I would say the, the, def, the furthest defensive, you know, you know, defensive player to tell the other players what the other team is doing. So, Support has a very vital role. They can see the entire field of play and they know exactly what's going wrong. Like when we play support, we know exactly why we're losing. It's because we have a uh, soldier 76 that's just constantly dying because he's playing it like a team deathmatch match. Yeah. And John. <laughs> I, absolutely <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's a lone ranger. <laughs> and so you can constantly see, and especially with um, support characters, cause you can see outlines very, very strong. Because you can see people's health, mm. uh, how the how the mechanics work in the game. So, so to answer your question, it's it's hard because every role is simple in the fact that tanks need to, but they can be as complex as you want them to be. Correct. Okay. So, well, uh, I'm guys, down. I'd like to join your. Crew. What about this? I'm, I'm so, down to join your crew this week. So we have a four player. What if we have X one bro tryouts for the fifth player? <laughs> That's a great no, idea. Because I know, like, I know a lot of people in chat. I, I know Ronan's been playing. I know a couple other people in like the general chat on Discord have been playing. What if we have tryouts? <laughs> what? What? Is, what is I don't know how we would do it, but it would be awesome. Yeah, how do guilds do it? They have you submit applications, like with video. We need video proof. Yeah, we need a video essay, like video like back in the nineties when you'd submit it to like your, your TV show and your stats. Link us your LinkedIn <laughs> account. Yeah, your, yeah. Your stats. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta see. Uh, <laughs> and, and don't worry, we'll have like alternates. You know, you know what we should do. We should start doing some live streams again. Yeah, uh, I would love that. That would be play, fun. Gameplay nights. That would be fun, David. I'm really excited. Overwatch is a great game. Yeah, I've come to this decision in my life. I mean, I, I work get, a lot. I did get pretty pissed last. I work night to like I midnight. <laughs> yeah, Jordan. God. I work to like midnight most nights, and I just need to set aside some time yeah. every day, a few hours, two hours maybe, to play a game. Mark, yeah. Mark knows when I get mad because I switch over to Roadhog <laughs> and I yell up, I yell profanities when I hook people and kill them. But Roadhog <laughs> is so satisfying. He's such a satisfying. You can die 15 <laughs> times. It's like golf. You can hit that slice so many times. But, but you, once hit you, you hit it once. You hit it once. This right is why I play. play. you like, that's. There was a round. <laughs> there was a round when Sombra was just making us mad. And I, di I didn't know what to do. So I was like, that's it. I'm just going to hook her and just freaking blow her up pounder and i did <laughs> Next and it was Tuesday. like one of the greatest feelings <laughs> <laughs> even, when, even what happened last night mark i just went wild oh. at one point you're like you're like that was a little tough for me to keep you alive <laughs> it was taking all that i had to keep <laughs> yeah. going but we i got those two people though yeah. no it's it's very fun I, I i mean we complain we joke we make fun of overwatch but it's because we love that game so damn much like it's what's funny, funny I was talking to Jordan about this before the show. Overwatch, quote unquote, 2. 2.0. 2.0. <laughs> it's more like a 1.1 now <laughs> because 
They gave us, I think, three characters. Yeah. But they also took away two <laughs> yeah, because they're, they're broken. <laughs> they're yeah, the, broken. the Bastion bug was actually, I uh, it was pretty funny. <laughs> That's a funny bug. So uh, you can unlimited. So Bastion is the, he's the robot that turns into a minigun. Mm-hmm. His ultimate is a mortar that goes top down view, and you can start doing more three mortar strikes. Yeah, one, two, three, goo, 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 and then it lands, and you can get some kills and stuff. The bug is, you can do that unlimited. Yeah, so you <laughs> so can just like, stay in that mode so and cleave it. And mortar strikes do a lot of damage because it's an ultimate. It's it's D Day in <laughs> Overwatch because it's like the other team is like, what the what like, is happening? Like, uh, yeah. uh, they should have left it in for a few more. The days. other game guys that I downloaded this week, Medieval Dynasty. Yes, that's yeah. that's a fun game. Yeah. Have you played it? Did you play it on Steam? Uh, yeah, I think so. so yeah. yeah, it's Didn't on. Did I game- play that with you, Jordan? I don't know. It's on Game Pass. <laughs> think of Kingdom Come Deliverance, but if you're a peasant and your job is just to survive. Well, yeah, that's no. what Kingdom Come Deliverance was. No, like but, you literally no, just but, described Kingdom no, no. Come Deliverance. Yeah, I described the first part was of it. A peasant. But in Kingdom Come Deliverance, like where you work your way up, you become better. Like more. No, this is just about surviving and as a Ray. peasant, building your own, building your own uh, little hut. And Ray. And Ray. <laughs> I that was still a good game. to this day remember the priest like mom. I'm gonna go play Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's yeah, that the was sign a, it was a, a real it story really was a good game. With character in that you remember to this day, I remember every part of like of the parts that I like I remember every part of the story in which I played it, because I never finished that game, but like I remember the first part in the village and they come and get everybody and you have to get that fist fight with that dude. That not every game has that. That like that instant like I'm drawn to these characters. They they did a good job, but Medieval Dynasty, it was bugged. Okay, it won't let me download it. Then it let me download it, and uh, it's, it's a game I'm going to get into. I just want to build my peasant life. Me too, man. How far did you? Get, how how far did you get uh, in that? I don't even remember. It was a while. Mm. while yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to it. Jordan, what you just off? You just no, off just into, he's just started thinking of the priest nowhere. in Kingdom Come <laughs> Deliverance. Yeah. Like that Henry. montage is still one of the greatest montages in any game I've ever played. <laughs> where you get drunk with the priest oh. of the town. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Uh, Red Dead Redemption has pretty good drunk <laughs> yeah, number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, pretty good yeah. drunk <laughs> montage. Anyway, not in first part. Well, yeah, not in first person like the. <laughs> Uh, I do want to say Poker Fraud brought up. He said I was playing Bard support in Lost Ark. So boring. I was actually talking to Jordan about this before the game. I'm craving with the Lich King out with all this with all I'm craving so hard an MMO. Mm. I've gone to Guild Wars 2 because mm. yeah, it's uh, the, the Steam launch like, is actually Guild been, Wars 2 and I'm like oh, the Steam launch. It's really Guild fun Wars being 2. in at a game when there's like a surge of players, you, you know. Well, but Lost Ark is I like that I like the top down look. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't give I don't care that it's pay to win. Why well, don't that actually I, makes me happy? Yeah, yeah. I can stand I don't, a chance. I don't, I don't know, have time. I stand, but I, I've got money. I I true. never I never like got to end game in that game, so I can't give a thing. But I I don't know what its monetization exactly is. But I know there's there's a, a good bit of it. But I heard it does a good job that it's like it, it like straddles that line really well. Yeah, I guess if, as long as you don't cross the line, you can straddle it all you want. Straddle it. Uh, it's like yeah. a Genshin Impact, player friendly, pay to win. I guess <laughs> you don't necessarily need it, but it kind of you're like, well, I want it because I want that character. You know, but yeah, Tower yeah, of Fantasy do you type think pay to win. I would enjoy. Okay, because I had this talk to, and I've talked to different people about it. So there are people that just that, like I have friends who love World of Warcraft uh-huh. and hate New World. Uh huh. And I have friends that love World of Warcraft and also like New World, uh-huh. but don't like Lost Ark. And then I have friends who love World of Warcraft, hate New World, but love Lost Ark. <laughs> this is really... You see what I'm saying? Yeah, really and so I'm so confused. <laughs> like, if everybody loved all of them, I would have a good idea of what's going on here. The problem with World of Warcraft, I've just... It's just... There's a single problem. The boat has passed. The boat has passed... That was what was kind of nice when Classic came out. Was it last year? Oh, yeah. yeah this is Classic. A few years ago. And this is, cl- this is Classic, classic Lich King. Bit, cl- this is Classic Lich King. So it was a few. When did Classic come out? Was oh, it 2019? Gee, I think there was two no, years. It was 2020. No, because I think it was. No, I don't know how it was long COVID. Classic it was during burning. COVID. Yeah, because it was Classic. And then you. Because I, I jumped into Classic while I had my office over there. Because you had Classic and then you had two. You had roughly two years of Classic and then you had TBC Classic and you had roughly two years of that. I think, and then now we have Lich King Classic. 
Yeah, see, like when you what, what they're gonna do next with Classic, I don't know. Um, I think Asma Gold's idea is pretty cool, where they just basically his idea is at, at the at a certain point you go fight the Lich King and he dies, and it's a really great moment, uh, especially if you're invested in the story. Thanks for the spoilers, uh, bro. <laughs> well, it's you know. Well, I mean, it's the we are Arthas dies. Hey, this, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, this is why I can't already get into. twenty years old. Uh, this is why yeah. I can't get into this game. So uh, I think it was yeah, I think it was Asma Gold. He was saying what they should do is like. When Ar- the Arthas does this ability at the end, and it basically becomes like a cut, uh, like a pre-scripted event on how he finally dies. Yeah. Uh, Asmogold said what they should do is just make the screen go black, and that and then the just game. reset classic, go in its own new direction, like Arthas won, you know, and then just do yeah, that would other, be yeah. cool. Hold on though, and that's then you just- real, that's a really good idea, but I think Blizzard is not as. What am I trying to say without being offensive? I think they're a lot more lazy than we give them credit for. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but Microsoft owns them now. Well, and then but they've got a new daddy. From, w- w- well, well, the thing is, is like I don't know if it would ever. I mean, a cool idea. Would it happen? Because then you'd you'd kind of I don't know. Like, would it be one of those things? Like, well, do you it's put more recesses about, on it's retail? All about do money. Put, yeah, they're I mean, crushing it, dude. Crushing yeah. it. They they Wish would be foolish and them. they're and they're making money on both ends. So why not just bloop split them as if in two as if they're two separate games telling two separate stories? Yeah. Can do some crazy stuff. Yeah, I don't know. A, a lot of people are thinking uh like they'll go to Cataclysm because that's the next expansion. Um and I will admit, I, I may be in the minority. I actually had a lot of fun during Cataclysm. Yeah. Like it was it was a good time. It's probably where I did like a lot of my hardcore stuff, like raiding and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, submitting applications to guilds, you know, yeah, you know so like stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Networking. But the thing is, is I don't think that's classic because how the world is in Cataclysm when the world reshapes and breaks, that's how it is today. Y- you know, so uh, it, it, would it be Cataclysm classic? I don't know. It doesn't feel classic to me. You know, doesn't the trilogy classic. is classic. It doesn't feel classic you know? enough. Yeah. Uh, to, to, to my point, uh, so the reason I'm thinking about all this is because Lazy Peon is one of my favorite YouTubers. Mm-hmm. Even though I don't play a lot of MMO games, I watch all his videos. I watch his live streams the whole time. And he did a he did a review a re review of Lost World because if you remember it launched to Lost Ark. Lo- no, no, uh, New World. Okay. Sorry, New World. If you remember, it launched to a lot of issues, a lot of complaints, a lot of a lot of problems. And he's gone through and he said it's basically they fixed a lot of the things. They have reworked completely the entire uh, starter area. Yeah, basically, I think it's, uh, I think it's levels one to twenty five. They've reworked. They've added in a biome. That's actually why he he jumped back in to check it out. And he, yeah, and new he, zone. He's really liking it. And so I'm like, oh, maybe New World's my game. But then I think you but guys then look at like T Bucks. This is this is what I'm noticing. There is a passion either for or against new world. Um, and that's what like TV, this is a hilarious comment. I hated new world so much that I DM them on Instagram <laughs> on day two. <laughs> when you write a letter, that's what, what on you, Instagram, you know, I, uh, I think you guys would like new world. Uh, I really do. Especially with given the position, like given your guys's job settings, I think new world would actually be nice for you. Cause you could just level up your skills while working. Yeah. Cause I actually really like their skill system. It, it, it's, it's, it, it reminds me a lot of like RuneScape skill system, which even though, you know, some may think it's tedious, it's addictive to just got to go logging. Got to go get so, those wood. So, but okay. Okay. So I'm watching these videos. And I'm trying to determine, okay, is there one out there? And everybody's really hyped on ashes of creation. And, uh, when is that coming out? Come on people. But so I'm, I'm lost. Starks the other one that he, that lazy and lazy peon like, Oh, I'm super addicted. So that's why I'm asking everybody that's really into world of Warcraft, especially which one should I get into? I don't think Final Fantasy is for me. I think it's too slow paced, especially the story doesn't take off until you get past that first area. Come on, just let me skip it. Like, well, I just, you can't. I, for I a jumped feet. in and for a feet. But Lost Ark. So those are the two that I'm debating on. Lost I mean, Ark you can just play them both. I don't have time for that. Yeah, that's a good point. Lost Ark is fun. New World is fun. Which do you prefer? I like them both for different reasons. You s- what a cop. That's answer. like what Todd what Howard said answer. about whether or not it was a yeah. sci-fi, what, yeah. what a hardcore sci-fi. <laughs> well, like they're both fun. That's like, hey, will you go? I will would you go pro- out with me if I were to like if I maybe. had to if I had to choose one, <laughs> maybe if I had to choose one of them, Lost Ark or New World, uh, like, and I had to choose one and get rid of the other, I would probably lean a little bit more towards New World. Why? Uh, I don't know. It's just more. You like that sandbox? Well, I, I think it's just like I, I like. I, don't get me wrong. I like the top-down 
you, you know, like the you like the pay, I like the pay to play. You pay one time fee to play. Well, he doesn't care either way because yeah, he's been a Warcraft player for yeah two decades. Yeah, so I've paid them a lot he's of money. Put, he's put yeah, a lot of kids think through college. How much do you think you've paid into Warcraft? It's I it's know it's subs. I know it's in the th- well. It's not just the subs because I have those the shop. Well, like so, like I've never guess. Give me a guess. So because it, it like bl- Warcraft, I don't know. You could probably narrow it down, right? It's not just Warcraft though. It's Blizzard, right? Because I if you add Blizzard, yeah, I'm up there too. Yeah. So like, I what do you think you're at, Spicy? I'm in the thousands. Yeah, but okay, but thousands is still relative. Are we talking f- two thousand or are we talking twenty thousand? Right, like, I, I don't know. This is over the. This is since two thousand four. <laughs> do you think? Okay, and actually, okay. probably a little bit okay, before. Do you no, think it's since nineteen ninety nine? We had yeah. we played through Battle.net. We bought StarCraft the, well, and everything. Reasonably, well, even, even more, darkness. more yeah, or yeah. less, more or less than five. I'd I'd be confident in saying more, L- more or less than ten. I don't know. Yeah, so that may, one, that's maybe, probably maybe, where maybe it's mark. yeah. I don't know if it's in the double. Okay, spicy. How about you? Blizzard all time, more so, or less than five. I have bought. Okay, let's just let's start like at the beginning. I don't even Diablo two. I've purchased probably fifteen times. The reason I purchased it same with StarCraft. The reason I purchased those like fifteen times is because I would lose. This is when I was a kid. I would lose the CD. And I'd be like, you know how many times about that stupid triple pack Starcraft? Yeah, yeah. The, the, battle the battle chest. chest. Yeah, the battle chest. Battle chest. Yeah. So I've purchased that. I mean, and that's that was my paper route money. You know yeah. what I mean? That was precious. That was. But precious. that's nothing. That's, that's 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 nothing. It adds up compared to once you became an adult. <laughs> I know. Okay. That's when the money so now, dropped. <laughs> let's go to Hearthstone. I've been playing that since beta. That came out, I think, twenty like fifteen. Just Hearthstone. Yeah. Every three to five months, they come out with an expansion, and it's always an $80 expansion. And you buy that every time? Yes, I okay. do, because now, I'm a sucker. Now, in between, card packs, what do you think? What are you averaging there? Well, that's what you buy. Like, why I'm buying that? Is you're getting everything? Is you're getting, you're getting like, uh, it's 80 bucks, and you get like 100 packs or 90 packs or something. Yeah. So that's, that's where that money. But that's over the course, like, that's what? So 90 times four times seven? And that's just that's just Hearthstone. So you're looking about four hundred dollars a year times seven, so right? It's, it's, however yeah, long okay. it's been, so. it's like twenty five hundred dollars right there. Yeah, but I don't, and that's just Hearthstone. It's just Hearthstone. Okay, is it just because like because I I have my subscription to Warcraft, right? I, I I've never really bought it. They have like ah uh, okay, tell lie. I've paid for I think like server transfers and stuff like that. So additional services like server transfers. I think I paid for a faction change. I think I paid for a name change once. How anyway. Much? That's how you know. Um, Change your name. Well, because what happened was I remember it. What had happened? I was. saw well, what had happened. Was. I saw. Happened was. I think it was during like Mist of Pandaria or something. I think it was. It was some game I was playing on Xbox. I think it was probably Call of Duty or something. And I saw one of the greatest names I've ever seen. And I was like, I got to change my. That's my new MMO character's name. Ramrod. No, Buttstroke. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And I was like, yeah. Names. So I was like, you know what? I got to rename my main to this. So they charge you like ten bucks to do that. But. But strokes a phase zero name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that, but then you got to think like, so that was worth the ten. Bucks. Starcraft three times, right? Because you had to pay for each of the campaigns for Starcraft two, right? Um, and then there was there's Hearthstone, right? Uh, yeah, but it's there those- was there was a point. Towards the beginning of Overwatch, where I think I spent like ninety bucks on loot boxes because I was like, I want all these skins. So there was that, uh, and then there's uh, I did Heroes oh, of yeah. the Storm let you forgot. buy stuff. I think I bought stuff in Heroes yes, of the Storm it, too. It's yeah, because it's, they turned it the two point They turned it to like more of a free to. Well, yeah, wasn't always. Model. I think it was always. Yeah, mobile buy. Yeah, so I think I spent money in uh, Hearthstone as well, which then or, they gave up on. <laughs> Heroes of the Storm. Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, Heroes of the Storm. Uh, Warcraft Three Reforged. That was a doozy. Uh, the Blizzard Collection, D- again Diablo Two Resurrected, Diablo Three oh, yeah. multiple times, PC console, uh, it, Overwatch multiple times, PC console. That's been a lot. It, we'll quantify it later, David. We'll we'll get That's to a lot. hard yeah, numbers. I, I w- can safely between say between five and ten. I can safely say that Blizzard is the company I've given the most money to, which is one of those things like you're not proud of because of recent events. But then you're like, well, that's not your fault. Like cl- <laughs> classic. Yeah. 
Classic but then Blizzard like, was a. I mean, they were fun. Yeah, but then you play like classic Wrath of the Lich King or even Overwatch 2. I've been having a lot of fun with too, minus the week it took for them to fix it. Um, they should have just delayed the launch a week. But what do I know? I do want to. I do want to shout out. Let's do, do a super chat. Cooper, member for 28 months. All right, hey, bros. What's up? Could you say how much? You spent on ESO and ESO Plus. Great question. I also do want to shout out Twisted Titanium. David Toey, uh, or Tui rather, says, Good morning, everyone. Long-term follower, but this is the first time for a while that I've managed to join you guys live. I'm in London, and I'm awake far too early. Really great to be here. David, welcome back. Twisted Titanium. Thank you very much for being right. here. So ESO, ESO Plus. Um, I have bought an ESO Plus before. It's definitely not as much as yeah as World of Warcraft, but uh, I usually get it when I want to level because you get that five percent <laughs> bonus. I think you get that five percent experience boost, and you get the crafting bag. So yeah. Uh, let's take some questions. Uh, but actually, before we do, uh, everybody, I know people have tuned in just to hear my thoughts on this. <laughs> Okay, here's yeah. the third part of the show. <laughs> we don't know where David's going with this. I know you're here. I know you've waited all week. What is David's thoughts on the new, the recently announced Disney's Dreamlight Valley DLC? <laughs> yes. The patch, patch that right? is big, coming. Big the most big boy patch. The big most patch. Badass game of 2022. <laughs> badass game of 2022. I'm loving that game. I told you I unlocked Moana last time. I'm doing Maui's quests now. I've just got Ursula out of her cave. And Spoilers. We're, and we're helping her build her house and such. I'm helping Goofy. Donald fixed up his house. This is a messy guy. Donald's throwing tantrums all over the place as well. I respect by the way. Donald because I, I always know how we he all feels. have a Donald Duck inside of us. I always know how Donald. Feels. There's a Donald Duck inside of each of us. There's also a Goofy inside of each of us. Yeah. Although I'm realizing Goofy, especially the modern Goofy, is like. Well, Goof, what, what? Goofy is, and, and I don't mean this, like, I like Goofy. I do. He, he's a good guy. But Goofy's the guy, and we kind of talked about this, like, last time. He's, like, the friend that shows up to your friend group and just comes with you. And uh, you're and you're like, ah, I you know, like, like, no, one, no one, like, tells him he can't come, so he's just Goofy's there, you know? like, the redneck character. Like, that's what they've made him. That's genuinely, like, that. I yeah, feel yeah. like the, that in modern Goofy, that's what they're doing to him. What deter, what? is the cutoff for modern goofy like when was because my one of my wife's favorite movies is that what goofy the uh, goofy, goofy movie goofy and then movie. an extremely goofy movie. so yeah yeah because that's Sequel. in that he's not but modern goofy so have you seen they're hilarious by the way i don't even know what they're called mickey mouse and friends yeah sorry to uh <laughs> the or is it mickey mouse and friends right you know what i mean the like adult swim you don't swim. No, 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 I know which one you're talking Thank about. Yeah, yeah, the art, the art style is f different. The you're storytelling like, well, there, though, it's freaking hilarious. No, yeah, they made dude. Goofy like I wouldn't even say redneck. He's like just like a homeless. They dog. made Goofy Sling Blade. <laughs> sling Blade, <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. Uh, it is funny. Drew Statnick drops a super chat and says, "It says no question, just keep on goofing on." Hey. Oh, Drew, love it. Thank you very no, much. No, Goofy's for that a good super character, chat, Drew. Yeah, Goofy's. But I do even in like the show. I do feel like he just kind of shows up, and everybody's like, "Ah, well, he's." I mean, he's here. I guess we need a fourth. <laughs> okay, but the big patch <laughs> coming next week. This upcoming week for first of all, they need to fix my Mickey quest line. I've not been able to finish it, so I hope that comes. It's bugged. Uh, early access. Yeah, it's early access. So my my quest line is bugged for Mickey. A lot of people aren't, but mine is. But Scar, baby, Scar. Now yeah. they dropped a video on Twitter, and in it you see Scar, and then you see that. Uh, I, I just think there's going to be a lot of like Lion King stuff here. How do they? How does this game deal with villains? They're there, pretty good. Like Ursula, like Ursula's a villain, and Ursula. I think because Ursula was just misunderstood. Because you're helping them still. Yeah, you're helping them still. You're helping the you, villains. You send them to the bad I side actually, of town. I, I actually, <laughs> you send them to the bad side of town. Yeah, yeah. there's. Yeah. They're in the Disney slums. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, there you go. Dream Life. I think this game long term is going to be huge. This is like the next Minecraft, in my opinion. I think kids, it's really fun. I'm kids I, love it. I, I, I do it's, like it. It's going to be huge. See, Captain Obvious says I helped Maui. Yeah. See, it's how spicy still to jump in. He'll understand it once he jumps in. It's I, Animal Crossing. I yeah. I just don't understand. All right, that. let's uh, let's take a a question or two. You can submit a question over on our thread on Discord. The Mel Sack that stays pinned to the top. Zorgic, let's take a question from a man, Zorgic, who was in Phase Zero, mm. the Phase Zero show, also known as the pre-show. Zorgic says, hey, bros, I want to know your thoughts on CD Projekt Red and Roadmap and oh, to release yeah, a Witcher new stuff. Witcher game every two years. Are they over-promising or, have we, or are we going to see the true power of the Unreal Engine? 
Thanks for always keeping it positive, bros. So let's just recap real quick. This was, was it last week or two weeks ago that they did this like developer update of all things CD Projekt Red. Yep. There was a big post on it. They talked about um, Cyberpunk 2077, yep. that there's going to be a sequel to it, yep. that it's not over, at, which actually long-term I think helps them because that made me want to go play CG Project Red so that I'm caught up on the story. C- cyberpunk. Sorry, Cyberpunk, whatever. Yeah, you're right. Damn it. That's cyberpunk. Okay. That's okay. Uh, it made me want to go play Cyberpunk where I ha- I really had kind of written Cyberpunk off like, uh, but the now, latest patch now knowing is really that there's a sequel, it's okay. decent. It's really good. At, okay, I'll jump in. It's a good, it's a good time. If you, if you want, if you've, if you've had interest in the game, this latest patch, uh, uh, it has been a lot of fun. In yes. It. So the next Witcher game is Polaris, which is the first in a planned trilogy. So we're going to get three games out of Pol- Witcher Polaris. Yeah, I was actually... Do we know who that is? I can't remember. Po- what, you said Witcher po- Is that a person? It's just called Polaris. Is, is the that next like Witcher the code game. name or is that the actual game name? Uh, I don't know if that's a code name. Uh, let me... I, I, was, I was thinking... You know, because there's several witchers. I think that's the name. That's the, it's not hmm. the name of a person. It's not like Geralt. Witcher Geralt. I don't know. Someone in chat could correct us. We're probably looking foolish here, but that's okay. Uh, the other thing is that those are going to drop every two years. And it is code names. Confirms Dr. Teeth. Thank you very much. It is a code name? Yeah. Okay. And then just the obviously the Cyberpunk series is coming in number two. Now, to the question of Zorgic, is that too much every two years? Are we crush? Are we ruining it? How's this going to work? It's one of those things. We'll see if they can do it. They can so do like it. It's every no. two, if it's every two years, and let's say, let's pretend the first in the series has already been worked well, on for, let's say, four years, and we get that in a year, so it's a five-year total turnaround, then you can bet that number two in the series is already being worked on as well. Well, that's what I'm saying. You'd this this might be, it might be like a little... We might be thinking too much. It's not there's going to be a Witcher game every two years for the rest of ever, right? I think it's there's going to be a Witcher 2 games every two years for this trilogy. So this trilogy will conclude six years after the first launch. And how long has this been game? I don't know that it is. You know what I mean? I don't know that they said that it's just the trilogy. Well, I would, I would assume. Entries in the franchise will arrive every two oh, years. Okay, well, that, that means nothing. I mean, they can just do like Witcher Bejeweled for one of those years. Entries no. in the franchise? Yeah, no, that means nothing. No. The Witcher that, franchise is huge. No, they were talking about Witcher-specific RPG games. Right? Yeah, yeah, Witcher-specific. Witcher Bejeweled. You're making me you mad, know what I mean? Jordan. You're making me mad. Okay, well that's what I'm Yeah, that that's easy. I can do that. <sighs> I don't. If, if let's hypothetically say that it's like the full fledged releases for console, it is. PC. It is. Oh, let's yeah. hypothetically think that. Cause, okay. 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 I don't know that I like that. Let's say the Unreal Engine is that powerful. That's awesome. If that's the case, and they can produce quality. A quality Witcher game every two years. I'm I'm o- totally okay with it, if it's quality. CD Projekt Red. They we have, know what they're capable of. We know what they're capable of with time. Yeah, because in all honesty, <laughs> in all well, in all honesty, <laughs> Witcher, th- Witcher Three is up there with Grand Theft Auto and Skyrim. I think it's the greatest game ever. Yeah, made. It's one of but my that's favorite, I mean favorite. that's like a big company. Yeah. Witcher Two is not up there with. Those. They were able to do that nor, with time. Nor is the first Witcher up there. So it's only this one. Cyberpunk also not up there. Even after all the patches, well, yeah, nobody's there's nobody's putting of, it even close. There's still a lot of stuff that can be improved in Cyberpunk that I wish. Yeah, anyway, I don't know if this is a good move. I think so maybe. Hear me out. Maybe Witcher Three was just a shot in the pan, lightning in the bottle. Well, we'll see. But I don't believe that because even though Witcher 1 and 2 did not have the acclaim of Witcher 3, the reason Witcher 3 had the acclaim is because of how good 1 and 2 were. Yeah, they built, they, they built, they improved. Because 1 was good for yeah. its time, right? 2 was really good. 2 was ve- two is what got us into it. Yeah, 2 was really good. 2 was good. very good, and then 3 was just a master. You know, I just thought it was incredible. But, 2 is another uh, one where I remember, you remember specific things. Yeah. Uh, no, I think this is what they're meaning. I, that's all marketing, man. That's all, that's all nowadays is is marketing but no i think it really is it's witcher polaris will come out in 2022 just hypothetically right it'll come out 2022 witcher polaris 2 is 2024 witcher polaris 3 is 2026 i think that's what they mean how long does it take them to make a patch for cyberpunk well if you look at their little chart on who's working on what 
I know. <laughs> you know. No, they have one. They had one. Yeah. The Witcher Three update, which I'm waiting for, because I have some game saves that I'd like to play on the new uh, on the new next gen update that they're doing. Do we have a 4K version of Witcher Three yet? Well, they're they're doing. I don't know if you can. Play, I think you can play it in 4K. Like, because they have the one X, but they're doing like yeah, a next gen version. I'm writing up on my board the reasons why this is a bad idea. Yeah. So yeah, I don't blame you. After, after but, Cyberpunk. But remember the power of the Unreal Engine, though. I got to remember that. The power of the Unreal Engine is. It's powerful. It's, it's well, incredible. I think, I it's think one. Changing. I think, I, I, I don't think it's. It, how do I explain it? Like, the benefit, I think, of the Unreal Engine is if you're an up and coming you can pro- patch it. yeah no, no if, if you're an up and coming programmer you're probably familiar with the i think more pete more programmers or more yeah more game developers are more familiar with the unreal engine than not so if you were to hire a new batch of people to start immediately working on a game i don't think it takes that long to get them really up and running because sure. they're already familiar with the engine and i think that's where the, the talent pa- pool is far wider yeah i think and i think that's where the power of that engine lies you know what i mean yeah. it's that's a good way to put it the talent pool is much larger yeah. <laughs> uh, which maybe make if you have more people working on it maybe you can uh make it work yeah it's a great question though thank you but, very much sorgic i think we're all hesitant i think the world is hesitant at that i, I just want a good game you know yeah yes, that, that, if it's good like that w- that works the day it comes out not the next week i just want a good game but nobody does that nowadays <laughs> i know and that's nobody the does right I, I, I look at this. you know and and this game i'm gonna say it this game does not get enough credit for it and you can't be like well jordan it's a single player experience no there was multiplayer aspects of it yeah i had a disconnect here or there but it was a smooth experience from beginning to end from launch and that's elden ring yeah there were a few issues here and there but nothing that i couldn't play the game for a week for example overwatch 2 right? oh, elden, or elden could, like, ring has this like elden ring i think is one of the perfectly paced games it's very good it's not too slow it's not too fast as of it right now rush you into things it also does not overwhelm you with with quests for being a quote-unquote open world that meme, but makes you want to explore that's what so many that's what the that's what ubisoft does not do that meme by the way um when they when so what happened was zelda ring came out and it came out to like acclaim right everybody liked it because it worked you know <laughs> Uh, go, figure. go figure, right? Uh, I think there was there was a few developers that like hammered it, and I think they like one of a, one or one or two of them were from Ubisoft. And then a meme came out: if Ubisoft made this game, have you guys seen that meme where the the UI is just terrible? Like it was, it was so funny. Uh, it was great. But uh, spoiler alert, guys: uh, Elden Ring, uh, my game of the year right now. Still, by, was that this year? By far actually oh it's the ui HUD. yeah the ui hud that if ubisoft made the game i think elden ring is one of the greatest games i've ever played in my life it it i don't know like it's in the top three of the witcher 3 is my favorite game of all time elden ring is like a very close yeah, second really funny should i pull that yeah up? pull that up that was that, was that is exactly correct i love the part where it says press no, x to activate at- tarnish sense <laughs> Well, look at the top corner of the mini map. Look at all the question marks yeah, on, the, yeah, on the thing. Yeah. That's exactly it. Like, look at this. So we should put side by side the actual UI with this. And that's the point. Like, it's it's overwhelming. And they're like, really like, don't go to this. 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 I, I love this. that UI cracks. Mes- the, the other one. Message of the day. New items are available in the Elden <laughs> shop. <laughs> <laughs> and on the right, on the right hand side, John. On the right hand side, look at Eagles collected two of ten. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the Press. thing is, is like you like even if you were to look at this and be like, oh well, you know, Assassin's Creed or let's just say a Ubisoft game. Ubisoft games have way more content. No, no, Elden Ring has a. V- uh, 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 a vast pool of content in their secrets, everything. They just, the way they present it to you is much less overwhelming because it feels more of you going on this journey, you exploring, you growing as a character. So as it, you know, it's, it's, it was so well done. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is hilarious. Enemies. I like the map. <laughs> Look at the map with all the questions. The yeah. question marks, yeah, yeah. Well, and even, the points of interest. Even how the game is helping him out. Hmm, maybe I should investigate that cave. <laughs> <laughs> like he's talking to himself. Uh, That's funny. Well, 
Thank you very much for that question, by the way, Zorjik. Appreciate it. And thank you, everybody, for being here live. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining us for another week of Xbox fun and goodness. Again, if you haven't yet, please come follow us on YouTube. Uh, rate. We're going, out. We're going out. We're going out, baby. Rate, review, and subscribe to us over on Spotify, Stitcher, iTunes, wherever you listen to us. It really helps us give us five stars. And enjoy your week. I'm excited. I'm excited. I... Scorn, Should I just guys. power through the quest, the main quest of Cyberpunk? Sure. And then play Scorn. You got to try it out, man. I'll try it out. Okay, you can just press forward to win the Cyberpunk. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Have a good one. So